Returning here is not easy for Cecilia Penal. Her two children attended this Catholic institution for children with hearing difficulties. She recently found out they've been abused. When she was at school, she was aggressive, she screamed, she cut herself. She had to be medicated. We believed here they would have a chance to learn how to speak and improve their lives. But that didn't happen. Both her children, now in their 20s, were called three months ago to testify in an investigation into the abuse of at least 24 children at the Provolo Institute here in Mendoza. For years, dozens of children were allegedly raped and abused in this institute that was supposed to help them cope with their hearing disability. What shocked people even more is that one of the priests reportedly involved in molesting children, Nicola Corradi, had already been accused in the past of similar crimes in Italy. For many, this is just another example of the church's attempt to hide those involved in sexual abuse. Nicola Corradi, one of the two priests who is currently imprisoned, is 82 years old. In 2009, a group of victims from the Provolo Institute in Verona, Italy, denounced priests who allegedly abused them. Recently, they released this video asking Pope Francis to intervene. After handing a list to the Pope three years ago with the names of the abusive priests, they included Nicola Corradi, who was living in the Pope's native Argentina. The church moves in two ways. If the abuses have not made it to the news, they move the priest to another location. But if the abuses are made public, then they start asking for forgiveness and will assist in the investigation. The adopted daughter of Paola González was also a victim. She is now 14 years old. She told me that someone was taking her clothes. She cannot speak well, but she showed me with signs. They take advantage of children that are vulnerable. Church leaders in Mendoza say they had no information about what was happening in the institute. We are trying not to hide things anymore and confront them. The Pope has said there is zero tolerance approach, and that's what we are trying to do. The initiative is coming a little too late for the families affected. Their children have been scarred for life by the lack of controls in an institution that was supposed to help them. They are demanding justice. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Mendoza.